will be disposed of until I'm master of the universe. Someone else is coming. We must not find our robot. Too. Coming to, is he? Well, my invisible gas in the Z-ray will take care of him and the others. Get them. Zucker's spiders bit him. It'd be in a criminal state if that were so. If you kill them, the police will trace them here. You can escape with your shadow belt, but I'll be done for. They'll send me back to Alcatraz. That's where you belong. and then the loose. must have dreamed that Iron Man. He knew what he was talking about, all right. I am free, Dr. Zucker. I am stronger than you now. Stronger than the police. You'll never make a slave out of me again. <laughs>
surprise me a bit if Dr. Zorka did have some kind of mechanical man hidden here. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's get him over to Dr. Mallory's right away. You traitor. You didn't know that you too had been sprayed with my invisible gas. Get up on your feet. belong to me. You can never escape me. No. Get him to Mallory's. I'll follow in my car. See what your treachery has cost me? They'll come back. They know what you have here. They'll ransack the place and find me. They will not find you nor my meteorite. You're changing headquarters today. Go and prepare for my insulation materials. Yeah, it's not suspended animation, only a slight concussion. He'll be all right in a little while. And I can go on to headquarters. You fellas stay with Bob. You'll hear from me later. He's reviving. We'll rent an office near the Department of Military Intelligence. I shall operate as Dr. Zane. I'm convinced that Dr. Zorka is still alive, operating from some hidden part of his house. The robot was manipulated by someone. I don't remember Dr. Zorka ever referring to a robot during the time we were associated. But there were many things he kept secret from me. Well, that's for us to find out. Where's Jim? Went back to headquarters. Well, I'll join him, then we'll head for the Zorka house. What that place needs is a good spring cleaning. Take it easy, Bob. Oh, I'm all right. Let's go. I found just the kind of office you want. Is it a good boy to protect my meteorite? Yeah, and it's on the same floor of the International School of Languages. Oh, the language school. The spies headquarters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> good. I can keep an eye on them also. We will move in at once. We must insulate our new vault so that my meteorite shall be just as safe here as it was in my secret laboratory. Come. Perfect insulation. Enough to protect my most powerful devices. Gadgets and Dr. Mallory's bag. The report just came in from the chemist. This, he says, is a neometer. An instrument that reacts in the presence of magnetized or radiated substances. Say, that's just the thing we need to locate Dr. Zorka's mysterious box. Exactly. Now, you take this back to Zorka's, and if his box is anywhere in the neighborhood, you should know it. Needle's going a mile a minute. Going to the door. Monks in there. We'd better mask before we go in. Monk? He must be entirely moved by morning. Monk. 
Who do you want? It ain't Monk. Whoever it is, he's got the stuff we're after. Come on, I'll spill it. Where's that box? I don't know what you're talking about. That's a pretty good disguise, Monk. But you're going to tell us where that box is hidden. I, I don't know. You're lying. Look at his neometer. Monk! Monk! Monk, where are you? This guy and Monk in the vault so we can get back. See you upstairs, boys. Thanks, Jean. You were swell. See you later. Oh, but I'm not leaving. We're going to have to ask you to leave us right here. From now on, things start to move fast and dangerously. Well, that suits me. My editor hired me because I move fast and I'm not easily scared. Look. If you really want to help, suppose you stay down here and keep your eyes open. Somebody may have followed her. Okay, Captain. Take this downstairs and wait for me. We've got to get it to the chief before he sails. I'll radio him and be right with you. Bag, the better I'll feel. Come on, we might as well wait in the car. Maybe it's those neon lights across the street. Two men just left that building. They said something about having dynamite in a bag and going to Pier 15. So what? I hope they throw all the dynamite off the pier. Those fellas look familiar. All right. I think you've got something there, Gene. Thanks. I'm going with you. Now, now, wait a minute. You get back to your typewriter, Girl Scout. You've done your good deed for today. Look, if you really want to help out, go up to my office and tell them to warn the Harbor Police about Pier 15. Let's hear your story. Government business, officer. I'm Captain West, DMI. This is Lieutenant Daly. Hello. It's imperative that we get the docks at once. All right, Captain.
half an hour since Franklin radioed. It's a heavy fog ashore, too, sir. Maybe they got tangled up in traffic. You go to the wireless room. Tell Drake to get a message through to his hideout. Tell him we've got the Zucker stuff. Yes, sir. I'll park the car and meet you at the motorboat. Police orders. Police orders, huh? Yeah. Well, you're talking to the police now. Oh, yeah? Sure. He's an officer of the DMI. Show him your credentials, Captain. Said it just slugged me. Which way'd they go? That way. I heard them start the boat. What boat? Well, the tender for the White Rose. She's anchored out there. Thanks. Still ashore, he had to park the car. We can't wait. Luck's with us. If this fog holds up, we'll be well out to sea by morning. This meteorite to the yacht gets to their prints, it'll mean war. This fog getting thicker, we couldn't fire on them even if we did see it. You take a Coast Guard cutter. I'll get a plane at the naval base and drop a flare to guide you. You can't take a plane up in this fog. I've got to. We can't let them get away with Zorka's discovery. Chance in a spot, Captain West. Can't be helped. Any players aboard? Plenty. Thank you. 